I'm the medical director of a franchise group of labs. So we have about 130 locations nationally, and we are constantly looking for ways that we can better deliver lab results to either a patient or a provider. And part of that has to do with organizing the data in such a way that it's really accessible to those people. So I knew that I wanted to learn more about how to deliver that data and about the systems that would be required to do that in an ethical and um, efficient way. So I started looking around for different programs. There's another master's program that was um, applied data analysis and that seemed really interesting. Um, there's also some degrees that happen in applied research, healthcare research, and all of those seemed kind of interesting. But the thing that I really loved about the Hills program is that it has it has a really patient-centered or people-centric uh, kind of core to me. And I think that's really valuable because in looking at healthcare data, I think it's really easy to forget that this represents actual human beings. And we can never forget that if we want to be implementing things that are actually not only evidence-based, but helpful and useful to patients. Something that I thought was really cool is that for Hills, I only had to submit um, the transcripts of places from which I graduated, which is great because I haven't been in school for a very long time. <laughs> um, I graduated with my first graduate degree in 2011. So to track down, you know, someplace where I took a random statistics class when I was in undergrad, like in between sessions would have been kind of silly and actually not meant anything <laughs> to how good of a student I'll be now. I also thought it was neat that there are no standardized test requirements. The vibe of the program so far has been, it's been great. Um, the other students in my group um, all have very similar backgrounds to me. A lot of them are also, they've been practicing or they've been in a job for 10 plus years. Um, there are a couple who came a lot sooner since undergrad, but majority, not so much. Majority are other people who already work in healthcare and wanted an additional bit of learning so that they can implement their plans in a more efficient way. I've actually been able to form some really good relationships with the other five people in my uh, cohort. And we all talk to each other through text constantly. I'm probably being texted by them right now. And that's been really good. I'm applying all of the paradigmatic work I'm doing to my, my job. It's really changed the way that I feel about systems and structures. And I'm looking at everything in terms of what's going on foundationally, what's the infrastructure, and what are the systems that serve that infrastructure, as opposed to having a bunch of systems and then trying to fit a paradigm to them. So it's really changed the way that I look at everything to more of a base up versus details to generality. Yeah, so I'm really excited to continue digging into the literature um, about healthcare dynamics and about the learning system, and especially about how we can change our frame of reference for looking at healthcare to be more bottom up versus top down. So that has been really that's been pretty pivotal for me, actually, because now I'm looking at everything in terms of what's the intellectual framework that we're building everything on? What's the purpose? What's the mission? And that actually informs all of the individual systems that you need to implement in the future, I think. I think that if we can continue to sort of make a conglomerate, all the Hills people, um, and think about how our actions not only affect our specific projects, but affect healthcare in general, I think that will be infectious because people, regular people know that there's something wrong with the healthcare system. They just don't know what it is. So I think that they need people like us to identify those pitfalls and suggest solutions. And I think that that's true at every level of healthcare, because if you talk to an administrator in a hospital, like they're going to have frustrations and they think it's just a part of the way that healthcare works, but it doesn't have to be, in my opinion.